Hey guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 4 of One Right Priority. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god, my freaking earrings with my hair and bullshit. Oh, she's cute! She looks like What's Her Face from Hayoka! Oh. Hmm? Okay, so, Momo, what happened to you and Mila? Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Okay. You're pretty. Oh. Damn. Oh, Oh, Mama. Okay, so I think I kind of know the situation on Mama. I mean, is she... I don't want to assume, but okay. But the broad shoulder thing. What is she transgender, possibly? Because uh, looking at her already, you know, she she's a girl, but her hair and everything, she has a masculine features. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've seen a lot of people, men or women, who either have feminine features or masculine features. And they're pretty and gorgeous and such. But I, I felt like she possibly got bullied for that. It, it happens to everyone. Y'all gonna make me cry again today? <laughs> it's, oh my god. After I watched this show, watching the first three freaking episodes, wow, I, I think, no. After I finished this, and then everything else I had to do Saturday night, and I edited everything, I'm sitting up here crying over these characters. I was like, oh my god. Ugh. It's a good show. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all gonna have to, because you know, Rika is now stone. What the hell can y'all do? Y'all about to get yoked. Like, hella yoked. Like, mmm. Hmm? Your pen lights. Oh, well, damn.
Damn it. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Miwa? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there you go with pride. Hmm? No, don't do this. adults like him. Oh, that's so disgusting. Mm. Oh, that's smart to kill him. Yes, Cody, what's up? on ho mm. I wish this bitch would just stay the fuck down but nah oh Took you long enough, though. Mm-hmm. Hey. My dog. Damn. 
Mm-hmm. Imagine that being the last fucking thing you say. Good job. (laughs) Oh, of course. Your herpes? No. Oh. <laughs> they were cute. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. She hard headed. She's just gonna say no. She's gonna go anyway. <laughs> I'm glad she's out though. Something wrong? <laughs> okay. I know nice seeds, right? Yes. Honestly, I think her and Nanny need a little more time together. <laughs> In the airport? Oh, what a company. Oh. A secretary? Oh my god. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. No, it's okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Mm. She just has that charm. That literally every girl that currently she has saved has fallen in love with her. Girlfriend? Best friend? They had to be best friends turned to lovers, possibly. All four of these girls are gonna have to meet sometime now. I'm, I'm just saying. Huh? Of course you did. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, and then people in general. Yeah, because gender doesn't matter. That's exactly what it is. Okay, I'm waiting till the end of the episode to talk about it a little bit more. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Is she related to somebody? Because you know that name. She's got to be related to someone. Okay. Momo is a sweet, kind, gentle girl. It's really because of the fact is, number one, her short hair, how tall she is, and even with the broad shoulders, she's automatically assumed to be a boy, even though she's a girl. As I said, there are some females who do have masculine features, and there are some guys who do have feminine features, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think it makes them look very unique. I, I mean, like, it, it's different. And everybody looks beautiful no matter what they want. She's pretty! And oh my god, she's just cute and adorable. She gives me hella Haruka Tenno vibes. <laughs> And I love it because, I mean, Haruka is like my fourth, fifth fave Sailor Scout. Because, you know, Venus, bus girl, October girl, Libra girl. <laughs> of course. But yeah, I mean, Mama's just adorable. I hope we get to see a little bit more on her and her friend I'm guessing or possibly maybe girl a potential girlfriend but I'm thinking it's more of a friend but yeah I mean of course every girl is gonna fall in love with her like that because of the way she's treating them because she's treating them as well she wants to be treated and such she's really nice and sweet and kind and adorable and so how can you not fall for her as someone who you know is you know into the same sex all these girls are into her. You can tell. It's like physically obvious that these girls are. But with me, I'm like, oh, like she's just so cute and adorable and I love her. Like she's just cute. And she's sweet. And she's very tough. I love the fact that, you know, each girl can handle their ish on their own. And yes, sometimes you have to handle it on your own. I honestly thought that Rika was going to be that type of girl who was like, there's no I in team. I work alone. But it was kind of a little bit of Mm, a little teeny tiny bit of netto, especially like between episode two and episode three and such. The fact that this chick is also the president. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I think after she said, this is my secretary. And I was, I was about to say like, are you a president of a company or some shit? Like, oh my God. Like she must be really high in power, but it makes you wonder, like, I, I still need backstory on, um, everyone else except I. I feel like with episode one and episode two and the more we get into this series I know a little bit more about I but I feel like with Rika and um Naru and Momo especially with this episode for Momo it's very little context clears. You still have to sit there and just figure it out on your own until we get more episodes focused on them to get a little more explanation on it. I mean that's my thing. So hopefully in the technically we're not really into the second half of the show so like in two weeks from now that's when we'll be in the second half but from episodes um five to the finale we get a little bit more and I'm hoping and praying that all these girls are able to get the person that they care about or love back to them because I mean everything that they're truly fighting for is for this I, and I don't want to say significant other because you know well Rika's situation she just wants her freaking you know her money back and to just you know tell this chick off and everything but I think also once Rika is able to set free her quote-unquote wallet I think that is when she will possibly woman up even though Rika is like these girls are like 14 they seem 14 14 15 um woman up and maybe apologize about the situation because I feel like each of these girls of course they have their own regret 
as we've seen from episodes one to now. But when they see that person, if they see that person later on in this series, I, I do want to see them all apologize and say, I'm sorry because of this. I'm sorry for this and that it led you to do this and such. I don't know how, like, I as friends going to feel, especially when she wakes up. I, I mean, like, the shit that I was talking about on um, Saturday where I feel like, let's say her friend wakes up and she's not really, truly, like, her friend, quote-unquote. I don't know, but, like, truly anything could really happen with this. But, I mean, just gotta wait and see. But, yeah, this is a damn good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of Wonder Egg Priority. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode five. One more thing. I, I do like the comment of, like, the boys thing situation. I kind of, and I've, I, this was on my mind ever since episode one. I was like, why isn't there any guys in this? So I'm guessing there's a separate, they like with the suicides, if it's a girl, this is where the girls go. And if it's a boy, this is where the boys go. So like, let's say this show got a spinoff. I would like to see the situation of like what boys go into and what's in their mind and such. But really, it just depends on the other day. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.